it's Raimi. It's about that time for me to clean out my closet so I can do my quarterly change of clothing aesthetic. Honestly, it's not too bad since I got rid of a bunch of clothes before I moved, but I still feel like everything is just so random and I need to just clean it out and start over. So I'm just gonna try everything on and see what resonates, what doesn't, what makes me feel like a hottie, and what doesn't, and what even fits me anymore. Cause you know, also, something really exciting just happened like an hour ago. Hold on. I got this plant in the mail. I ordered it from the sill and this is my third plant baby ever. It's a, it's like a philodendron, philohedron. I don't know. But it's my third plant ever and isn't it so just aesthetically pleasing? Terracotta pot, heart-shaped leaves. Like she's just so cute. She came all messed up though cause like shipping does not care but Welcome to my closet in the before stages. In my head it's organized, but in real life it just doesn't look like it. And I have some shoes like everywhere. And this is my side of the dresser where I keep my loungewear, which is really just oversized t-shirts, my bathing suits, which we'll need a whole nother video for, and my denim and skirts. Let's start by trying on every single shirt that I own. Those are literally all of my shirts and I don't even wear them. I literally live in big t-shirts. Like, I have like 19 shirts right here and I'm about to get rid of like half of them. I'm embarrassed. I don't know, like, what? where's the style? Where's the flavor? Like, this is why I'm doing this. This is why I'm doing this. So I can have a cute wardrobe of things that I actually wear. I have a ton of tank tops and that's probably because I live in hell, also known as Florida. And on top of that, I'm already the world's sweatiest human. So tank tops really do it for me. The only downside is that you can feel the wetness in your armpits, but you know, there's worse things going on in the world. Also, you probably didn't even want to hear about my armpit sweat, but here we are. I'm so happy I'm documenting all the clothes I have in this point in time of my life because I'm such like a future nostalgic person. So I'm so excited for future me to look back on this and be like, wow, Raimi, your style grew so much. <sighs> I was so happy that I rediscovered this shirt because it feels so vintage and cute and now I have a new clothing option that I already had, but you know what I mean. This bodysuit will always have a special place in my heart, but on the other hand, this shirt gives such nursing energy. And this shirt is just so risky, like oop, oop. <laughs> and this one, I'm just gonna keep because I feel like it's a staple. Here are my two angel shirts that I love so much, but they're so hard to get over my head without getting makeup on them. Like, literally impossible. I really thought that was all of my shirts, but then the next day, I found all of these. Oh my gosh, how could I forget about these staples that I feel like everyone should have? These tank tops are so comfy, and you never have to wear a bra with them. Also, I stained this one, which is really sad, but life goes on. And I have these bodysuits, which are also lifesavers, but my favorite black one is breaking right on the tip. Like, can you see it from there? Come a little closer, Raimi. Come on. See? Oh my gosh. Then I have a few cute long sleeves that just collect us in my closet because, you know, very hot. But this one, oh my gosh, this one. This is my favorite because the color, the collar, ugh, love it. And there's a pink one, which is also really cool and really like risky if you're like me and just butt in the middle. And then we have a big oversized button up because everyone needs one. Now we have outerwear that also collects dust in my closet. One, two, three, go! Why are you here? Not really outerwear, but I guess. And I have my favorite gray hoodie, which I wear all the time. Denim jacket, just because I feel like I need to have one. Don't really know why. I love this grandma cardigan. People always tell me I look like an old lady when I wear it, and I love it. And this, I just thought I could make it work, but it's very big, like very big. And this, I just don't feel like adult enough to wear it. <laughs> My number one favorite category is dresses. I'm a big fan of dresses for very obvious reasons because you just put on one big sack of clothing and you're done. Non-constricting so you can eat however much you want. And yeah, I mean, those are my only two reasons and I feel like they're very, very good ones. Um, okay, so we have the first item that doesn't fit me like at all. Like this will not go up. So, 
that's something, but I'm not gonna feel bad about myself because people grow and get bigger because that's healthy and I got this like two years ago, I think, so it's fine. I will get another picnic bitch dress. Fun fact, I have that body shape that just has a hard time finding clothes to fit me in all the right places. So half of my dresses on Instagram are all a lie because I just clip them all in the back to make it fit around my waist and make them a little shorter. And yeah, it's just what you gotta do sometimes. Like this dress is so cute. It's white denim, but it's too big. So I wanna learn how to sew so I can do some minor clothing flips and thrift flip videos because that would be so fun. I just want a Hello Kitty sewing machine like Avery Obard. Every time I see one of my rompers, I'm like, ugh, gotta get rid of that, it's not my style. And then I put it on and I'm like, this is a genius creation. Pants attached to a shirt. Oh my gosh. The reason this video took me so long to film is because I kept on thinking I was done, but then I found more clothes. So here's me the next day. Honestly, you can never have enough dresses because you'll just rewear them all the time anyways. Like this one. If you know me in my personal life, I'm so sorry because I have worn this dress to death. <laughs> Oof. Long dresses with an open back are so beautiful. There's something just so elegant about missing fabric, you know? And this is a dress that I wore for my birthday when I turned 20 in quarantine. Uh, you guys should watch my Forcing the Glow for my 20th birthday video if you haven't. And this, oh my gosh. So this is a pants romper. I don't really know what to call them. A jumper. And it just feels like the perfect thing to wear to like pick fruits and go thrifting or something. And here is my kind of too big for me business girl dress. But I love it so much, especially if I wear like a little bag belt. Then it's perfect. I really don't have much to say about my oversized t-shirts other than these are really what just keep me going in life. Comfy shorts are essential for my everyday life since I'm at home all day, every day. So I have a few comfy pajama shorts that I wear all the time just to walk my dog and to go get mail. <laughs> Then of course I have denim shorts, which honestly I'm not the biggest fan of. They're just so cute, but not good for sitting or eating, for me at least. There's nothing wrong at all with these skirts or skorts, but I just don't wear them because they don't inspire me anymore. So I think it's time to give them a new home because my style has just changed. And I've either not worn any of these at all or wore them too much. <laughs> Comfy pants are very important, especially if you're a crisscross applesauce like me, then you know the importance of comfy pants. These are my favorite leggings in the world just because they're brown, and brown is my favorite color. And these next two pair of leggings I've had for like five years, so at this point, they're just emotional attachments because I never ever wear them. Up next are all of my jeans. I love how jeans look, I think they're so aesthetic, but... I avoid wearing them at all costs. They're just too much for me. I don't know what it is, but when I do wear them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I should wear jeans more often. And then I never do, unless it's like really cold for some reason. Or for the only other reason that makes sense, for an Instagram picture. <laughs> I recently purged all my shoes. I got rid of everything that I know I never wear. I kept everything that I wear on a daily, weekly, monthly basis and kept some things that I'm like, hmm, I might need this in the near future, but I don't really know, so I'll just keep it for now. <laughs> My shoe collection feels really random right now, but my goal is to have shoes that I wear all the time that can be paired with a lot of things and also a bunch of weird, funky ones that just inspire me in general. Welcome to my side of the closet and now it's time for organizing. Usually I just organize things by like items, so tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeves, short dresses, long dresses, jackets, things like that. And I think I'm going to do the same thing except for I'm going to color coordinate as best as I can. So 
it'll just be more satisfying because last time it was not that satisfying so hopefully adding the color coordination into it will make it satisfying um please don't clock me with my color coordination i don't know anything about the color wheel so i'm just going by what my brain says looks good so for dresses we have brown tan other colors and gray to black I basically just have all the clothes that I truly need now and I think it looks pretty good. What do you think? So this is all of my lounge wear and I folded it all in like the file style. I don't know. Well, some of them aren't. Some of them are just normally stacked and these are my sweatpants. But this looks really nice compared to how it looked to... What? Okay. This looks really nice compared to how it looked before. So I'm really proud of it and hoping that I can keep it up maybe for a couple days all right and then i also file folded my jeans shorts and skirts and looks like i have a little bit of room to get some new things so that's pretty cool wow so that was a few day closet clean out but thank you so much for watching i'm really excited that you're here let me know how you felt about it if you hated this video or if you loved this video let me know don't forget to subscribe because like what if i hit 200,000 subscribers this year like that would be crazy follow me on my other socials if you low-key want to be convinced to manifest your dreams and love yourself and live a better life <laughs> that's a big claim <laughs> i'll see you in the next one bye oh one more thing all of my clothes that i don't want are gonna be sold on my poshmark so check it out if you want to